AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT Retail Packaging Services Online, Revealing Absurd PSU Requirement of 900 Watts and Above. AMD's Radeon RX 9070 XT packaging has surfaced for the first time, giving us a glimpse of expected specifications and a rundown of system requirements. AMD's RX 9070 XT might come with power supply requirement almost close to NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 5090 well, Team Red's RX 9070 series release is right around the corner and it looks like the rumor mill has started to spin pretty quickly. Based on the X post by Atgorsky, the first image of the packaging of AMD's flagship RDNA 4 GPU has already surfaced online, and unfortunately, it is only the side angle for now. However, the details mentioned on the box open up a new debate since it says that the minimum PSU requirement is to be 900 watts, which is undoubtedly surprising, considering that AMD's Radeon RX 7900 XTX came with a lesser requirement. Apart from the mention of a PSU rating, the box gives us a rundown of the specifications of the GPU, which includes RDNA 4 architecture, 64 compute units, 4096 cores, and support for AMD's HyperX and FSR, validating the information we have seen in the past leaks. If we go a bit into the PSU requirement, AMD has likely bumped up T2P figures to squeeze out more performance, but even with this argument, the 900 watts figure doesn't make any sense. The best scenario here would be that either the power detail on the box is a typo or AMD will mention this requirement as a precautionary measure, leaving room for overclocking purposes. Just to compare. NVIDIA's RTX 5090 is set to run optimally on a 1000 watts supply, and given the specification difference between the two models, it is safe to say that AMD's PSU requirements are pretty far-fetched, but yet again, nothing is official for now. Team Red's RX 9070 XT features 16GB GDDR6 RAM, a 256-bit memory bus, 4096 SPs, and a boost clock of up to 3.1 GHz, positioning it for the mainstream GPU segment. The GPU is set to be unveiled by the end of February, with a retail launch planned for early March, so that's when we'll have a clear view of how the RDNA 4 series has turned out.